thought it was really big. You know, we knew coming in, we had to, you know, we needed to win. One, we need to win at home. Two, we needed to, you know, get one back from from Eastern. And uh, so, yeah, going in, we we knew this was a big week for us. About the every after every game, now I'm asking about your de defensive performances. So they're getting better as as the, as the year goes on. Yeah, I, th I think they are. I thought we uh, we brought a lot of uh, good defensive energy tonight. You know, followed the game plan. I thought we did a, a real good job of uh, getting out. You know, they're they're a very dangerous team, and they have uh, three players who can really score in bunches and and score quickly. And obviously, Wendy does a fantastic job with them. So, uh, to be able to play defense like we did tonight was uh, uh, should give us a lot of confidence. And I, when you when you recruited Taylor and Michaela, you knew they could shoot. Or just nights like these, just a, a nice reminder of how talented these two are. Yeah, it's it's great to see. I thought Taylor looked uh, extremely comfortable tonight. Um, and again, you know, everyone's all over Mike. Uh, you know, Michaela for sure. Uh, I thought she forced some things in the first half, but uh, we talked a little bit at halftime at one of the timeouts about kind of letting the game come to her a little bit more. And, and people are open. And I thought uh, we did a great job moving the basketball in the second half and getting out in transition. Was a starting Taylor a matchup thing, or just with Bethany out, or what went into that? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we we had to start our best lineup, and uh, you know, Bethany, we don't know how long she'll be out, so um, you know, I had to go. I want to go with Taylor, and uh, you know, just try to rotate the younger kids in, uh, maybe like a daily, or you know, Ag's not a young kid, but she hasn't had a lot of experience getting out there, and and maybe work them in and give up the other guys some rest that way. You know, I just decided to go a different way tonight, and and. Uh, Worked out pretty good. <laughs> uh, specifically, what, what did your post do really well on, on Delaney and, uh, and, and Ashley Payne uh, down low? Um, you know, I, I thought we did a good job of, of getting some doubles in, uh, maybe not letting them catch the ball where they, where they wanted to catch it. Um, you know, it was just a team defensive effort instead of kind of putting them out on an island saying, okay, you got to guard Hodgins, you got to take over Payne, and, and it's you one on one. I think we did that up in, up in Cheney. And, uh, we didn't do a very good job of that. So, uh, you know, we wanted to get these guys uh, with team defense tonight instead of just one-on-one -on -one stuff. Is that, is that uh, something you kind of had to adjust to with this team? You know, you don't have the post defensive presence of like an Allie Ford that you've had in the past, of kind of using the team to, to give you post some Yes, of absolutely. I mean, Allie was a one-man wrecking crew. I mean, she was, she was <laughs> post defense, you know. I mean, she's guarding two, three people. Anybody that came through the paint, Allie was gonna, you know, get after um, and one-on-one. -on -one, you know, no, nobody in the in this league could do anything uh, from the post against Allie Ford. So uh, she was a very special defender. Um, and now we're, we're going to have to, you know, uh, do it as a team, you know, and get that kind of defense and, uh, and get that kind of effort, though. I think our posts are capable of very good defensive efforts, um, you know, when they when they bring effort. You know, they got to bring the effort, too, and the toughness that, that Allie brought. And, and as the season's going along now, we're starting to see that uh, from these guys, from Jerry McCorkle, from Brooke. You know, and, and giving us a better defensive presence down on the block. And then four blocks for for Jerry, uh, I think. Today. Yeah, yeah, she was right there, man. She was, you know, she was a helper tonight. She did a great job of seeing where they were at and uh, and taking care of uh, taking care of business and down there around the rim. You know, the extent of Bethany's injury. She tweaked something in practice. Yeah, yeah, she she hurt her ankle and uh, looked like something with her foot. Um, so right now we're just you know hoping day to day and kind of seeing where she's at and. You know, hopefully we get her back pretty soon. You know, uh, she's had a she had a great year so far, especially from a defensive standpoint for us. So, you know, it's nice to be able to play defense like we did tonight without her, because that is her strong suit, and she's done a great job of taking charges and and being in the right place at the right time. Uh, Bailey Hansen had a couple steals there. Was that just planned, or was that just her knack for the ball? Uh, well, you know, she's uh, she does have a great knack for the ball. She's very long. You know, she's got long arms and. And anticipates well and you know she's got some freedom to go out there and and get after balls if she can and uh you know i think that's a big part of her game she loves to play that way that's the way she played in the on the aau circuit in the club ball circuit and in, and in high school so uh, it was nice for her to get out and get some freedom and, and just kind of play loose tonight you guys had uh eastern washington had zero free throws uh, at the end of the first half uh, how do you kind of keep such a clean game especially there's such a Seem like a physical team. Yeah. How do you how do you keep your game so clean? Yeah, they are, and you know we talked about that because up up in Cheney, uh, we had three our three starters with two fouls in the first quarter, all my guards, and uh, we talked about tonight keeping our hands off people, moving our feet, and really trying to keep them off the foul line because that was a big key up there in, in Cheney of that game. So we knew that could not happen again uh, tonight if we wanted to you know come out 
come out with the W. So uh, we were really conscious of that and moving our feet, not hand checking and doing things we did up in Cheney. Um, the rebounding, yes, yeah, yes. essential for sure. Rebounding was huge, and we had 17 <clears throat> offensive boards, I think. Yes. So we had to get on the glass sheet. Yeah, that was all. We had like eight <laughs> of those, I swear. So for the for either of you guards, so like seeing Jerry get four blocks you know, today, mm -hmm. defending their post pretty well. Well, she does it to us in practice, yeah, so. so it's only fair that she has to do it to other teams. But it's great to see her do that because, um, you know, the coaches have been on her for her defense, and when she goes out there and she gets four blocks, it's like, well, dang, man. You know, she can do what she just did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you had more than four. Yeah, they probably they definitely shorted should. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take four. <laughs> um, uh, who, who came up with the splash sister thing? Where did it start? Um, oh, yeah. You are? Um... Sure. Okay, well, um, it was just one day Taylor and I were together, and one of our practice players saw us and was just like, oh, hey, the Splash Sisters are together. And, it, yeah, it's just kind of Yeah, and I'm not really sure how it escalated after that, but he was the first one to call us that. Somehow Seth got a hold of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they heard of it. Yeah, they no. asked us about it. I was really? very yeah, they asked. Our faces were like. It was well, last year at the tournament. They asked us about it. <laughs> Coach must have told. Them. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that that nickname? Um, uh, you know, we don't think we're as good as Steph and Clay. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get there <laughs> one day. But um, now that everyone calls us it, there's we kind of just make a joke out of it, embrace it, because there's nothing we can really do about it. So, yeah. Um, we joke around with it, and it's pretty fun, but. We don't think we're as good as them. <laughs> well, when you guys do have have, have big nights uh, like you guys both did tonight, how, how is that for the two of you? Pretty darn good. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> Usually, it's like either one of us has a really good night, and the other one's kind of just right behind. But sure, we like to take turns. Yeah, but tonight it was both of us, and you know it feels great because we put in so much time off the court. It's good to see it translate into a game and it really mean something for the team. Uh, for, for any of you, you, you jump into a, a three-way tie with Eastern and Idaho State for fourth place. And I was talking about how big this this was a uh, win for you guys. Um, it was pretty big because we we've always been rivals with Idaho State and Eastern, and um, I think it just makes it more exciting going into Reno. Um, I mean, to top off Eastern like we did tonight was um, pretty special because I mean we've always had that rivalry, and how we played against them last time was. Um, wasn't the way we wanted it to go. So to to be playing like we are now is um, exciting for us because I think we're starting to peak and we're starting to get things going. Yeah. Is, there some, is there something about playing a team that, that second time after they beat you that just that does something extra? You guys? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Definitely. Yeah, come out with a little bit more intensity. Mm -hmm. Just as yeah, I think we were really embarrassed about how we played over there, and so we knew we owed them. What was the first time out like at the beginning of the game? What was the message? Because you guys get down early and then come back and really just kind of didn't let up from there. Yeah, I did too until you mentioned Yeah, that. I just forgot about um, that. Coach pretty much told us, you know, the game's here, it's time, wake up. Yeah. And that's what happened. We woke up and we started to play our game and um, we didn't really look back from there. We just stuck to the game plan. Yeah. The rest is yeah, on the paper. <laughs> Yeah, they're a, a pretty physical team, it seemed like, out there on the floor. It's a lot of, um, a lot of rough plays. How do you, especially for the Splash Sisters, how do you kind of <laughs> stay focused and still make those long shots, even though it seems like you guys are getting beat up out there? I think they were getting frustrated with each other, and so when we see that, we just yeah. uh, push even farther. <laughs> so, just make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. a little motivation, I think. The more shots you make, the more frustrated they get. And it's yeah. not like we're frustrated, it's they're frustrated. And you just got to keep a level head and, and deal with the physicality because the more physical it gets, the refs are going to be on your side for that. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's more like a momentum each time you make a big, yeah. big yeah. play. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It <laughs> feels good. Everybody gets pumped up and it's a home game, so the whole crowd gets into it, and that just takes them even more out of what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. This was one of you, Steph, and one of you, Clay. Have a... We've actually had this We've discussion. We've had this discussion. Because <laughs> um, we knew someone would ask one time. So we had to talk about it. Okay. We decided she's Clay because Taller. she likes him better than I do. No offense to Clay. I like him. And I'm kind of the backup point guard now, and Steph's point guard, so 
Yeah, that's how we just separate it. Yeah. Okay. Not by like one's better than the other because yeah. they're both evenly awesome. Yeah. That's just how we decided. Okay. Yeah. And I'm shorter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So about Jerry over here, she feels yeah. left out. Jerry's Kevin Durant, KD, we, we actually decide. decided KD, that too. Right. I still have conversation <laughs> about yes, this too. Yes, she's oh, okay. Kevin. Because <laughs> she's taller. And she's a, a post that can shoot it from very far away. But she can also post up. She can't dunk it. It's okay. Yeah, we'll get there close. one day. 